Hey guys, welcome to my Psalm 1 language instruction, emphatic sentence structure. So today we're going to be moving on from memorizing the emphatic pronouns and we're going to be learning the first steps in creating our own sentences. We're not going to learn how to create entire sentences just yet, but we're going to learn the first step in creating those sentences. So we're going to be learning how to put together our own phrases and then we're going to take what we learned today and continue to build on how to make an entire sentence in Psalm 1, okay? So this part of the course is a lot more fulfilling. You're starting to put together your own sentences. It's going to be a lot more personable to you. And this is a very crucial key and uh, skill that you need in order to learn a language. You need to learn how to put together your own sentences rather than just memorizing blatant things here and there, okay? So this course is going to be a little bit more challenging, but it's also going to be a lot more fulfilling, okay? So the, the things that you need for this video, this, the, the top part of this slide is a table full of the emphatic pronouns. If you don't have those memorized, go back to my last video on emphatic pronouns, okay? And then the bottom part that you need is tense markers. I talked about this in my basic grammar video and if though if you don't have those memorized go back to my basic grammar video and rewatch that okay what I'm gonna be doing uh, is helping you put together some phrases in the beginning of a sentence structure that we use with emphatic pronouns but you need to have this stuff done before we can actually move on okay so get that stuff done if you need to and we'll move on Okay, the first thing that we're going to be talking about in this video is I'm going to clarify that emphatic pronouns put an emphasis on the doer. So if you're really wanting to put an emphasis on whoever's doing the action, then you use these kind of pronouns. For example, let's say someone asks who took the car. Well, you're going to be emphasizing whoever took the car in that sentence. Mark, he took the car. Okay, so this is when you'd use these kind of sentence structures or pronouns. The next thing that I'm going to be uh, clarifying is that emphatic pronouns are also considered postposal. So what that means is I'll have a verb and then after that verb will come my pronoun. Okay. So when I use emphatic sentence structures or things like this um, sentence structure, then I use a verb and then what goes after the verb is my pronoun. Okay, so I'm going to be talking about that a little bit more in depth in just a second. Okay, so what I'm telling you here is this emphatic sentence structure is the tense marker goes first, my tense marker goes first, then my action or my verb, and then my doer. This isn't a, a, a real sentence structure. This is something that I came up with in order to help you learn the entire sentence structure, okay? So this is just the beginning step of learning the emphatic sentence structure, okay? So you need to know this before moving on, and this, I feel like, is a crucial uh, skill that you will learn in order to learn the entire sentence structure. This will give you confidence in being able to come up with your own little phrases so that you can move on and complete an entire sentence, okay? So what I'm telling you is um, this right here, this emphatic sentence structure, this right here is really critical. You need to learn this before moving on to my other videos, okay? So my tense marker goes first, then my verb or my action, and then my doer or my pronoun, okay? So I'm gonna be working on the first a uh, couple phrases with you and then I want you to work on the other ones on your own. So this first one is he ran. How would I say he ran in Psalm 1? Well if I use this little key that, I, that I've given you, tense marker, then action, then doer, the first thing I need to think is what tense am I speaking in? Well ran is a, t a past tense marker so I would use sa or na, sa or na for past tense, okay? And if you don't remember, saw and na for right now, I want you to just use them interchangeably. There is a small difference, but uh, I don't want to go over that just yet. So let's just say saw for now. Then my action, I haven't given you my action word. My action for run is tomoe. So tomoe is the word for run. And then my doer is he. That's a pronoun. And I hope that you have that memorized, and that's o ia. So, sa tomoe o ia 
is how you say he ran in Psalm 1. Okay, the next thing that we're going to be working on is he will run. So this is basically just changing the tense that I'm speaking in. So the first thing, like I said in the uh, first little example, is what tense am I speaking? What, well, that won't be saw anymore because saw is past tense. So the thing that I need to use is olea. That's the future tense marker. Olea. And then my action will be the same to moe. Okay. And then my doer will be the same. So o ia. Okay. So olea to moe o ia is how you say he will run in Samoan. Olea to moe o ia is how you say he will run in Samoan. So I want you to work on the next seven phrases on your own. Okay, and I want you to use this little sentence structure that I've given you at the very top. I want you to use the tense marker action doer to complete this. The only thing that I haven't given you, I've given you the tense markers, I've given you the doers, I just need to give you the actions. So the actions are going to be, I'm going to write those out for you. So um, this first column, uh, run, is to moe, so that'll be your action word. Okay, then talk. In the second column is going to be tautala, tautala, and then converse right here. That's going to be tala noah. Okay, so talk is tautala and tala noah is converse. Oh, whoops! I'm going to have to undo. Okay, so tala noah is converse, and then my next thing is walk. Walk is savali. Okay. So those are going to be your action words. Those will go in the middle. Okay, so the tense will go, the tense marker will go first, then my action, which will be one of these four words, and then the pronoun or doer will go next. Pause the video and practice and really do this, guys. This is going to be helping you gain skills, problem solving skills. These are skills that you need in order to learn a new language, okay? So really thinking and trying to put things together and, and using this kind of new formula that I've given you, this new sentence structure, is how you're going to be learning the language. You're going to be putting vocab words and tense markers and, and different things in the correct spots because the word order in Samoan is different than the word order in English, okay? So really do this, guys. Pause the video now and we'll go on. Okay, so I hope you pause the video. I'm going to give you the answers here. The answers are right here. So I'm giving you the seven that you didn't have, okay, and the answers are in red. So hopefully you had something that was pretty close to what we, uh, what we have written in red. So he is running. Okay, so he is running. That's kind of a future, or that's kind of a present tense. And so what I write is olo'o because olo'o is the present tense. This is the present tense happening right now. And sometimes, not always, but when you see this ing, a lot of times you'll see the olo'o, okay? So sometimes um, that's true, okay? Not always, but when you see the ing, a lot of times you'll see the olo'o tense marker, okay? But, but remember, the most important thing is asking, what tense am I speaking in? Well, he is running right now. That's olo'o, okay? And then the action word I gave you is tomoe, and then he, we've talked about that. That's the doer. That's oia. So hopefully you were able to get that one. All right, next one, you too talk. So this is a dual, this is a dual uh, pronoun that we're going to be needing. So I didn't really clarify so you could have put sa here instead of ua so you could have said sa or ua so this one or this one i didn't really clarify ua tautala olua is more for you two just talked okay but if you put sa or na right here instead of ua ua tautala olua if you put sa or na tautala olua i would have been really happy and you would have been correct all right, so the next one that we're going to be working on is you two will converse. This one has a little bit of different of an action word. And this, what tense are we speaking in is the first thing that we should be asking. Well, that's a future tense, okay? And a lot of times you can see the future tense by seeing the word will, okay? So a lot of times you'll, those two, the olea and will, are kind of similar, okay? So will converse. Converse is Talanoa, and then you two 
goes next because we're following the tense marker action doer uh, sentence structure right here. All right, the last one on the second column is those two are talking. And so right now they're talking, and we're, that's kind of an olo o tense marker. And then talk is our verb or our action that goes next, and that's tautala. And then the two, those two, or they two, is our doer, and that goes next, and that is e la ua. E la ua. Okay, our third and final column that I've given you is they three are walking. And I hope that this, this column you kind of recognized. This is my plural uh, column. If not, if you use the dual form for this one and this one, then that'll be fine too. But I was hoping that this third column would be more for plural pronouns. But they three are walking. Right now they're walking. You'll see the o lo o again. And then the verb goes next or the action and that is savali and then my doer goes last and that's elato okay so hopefully that um you were able to get that and then this one is they walked so walked is past tense so that is a saw and then my action goes next whoops 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 my action goes next so that's savali and then my doer goes last and that's elato all right Moving on to our last little phrase that we were walk, working on, that is, they will walk. They will walk. Well, what tense am I speaking in? Well, that's a future tense, and so you'll see the future tense marker. And then the action will be savali, and then the doer is ilato. All right, hopefully you were able to get these, and I hope that you will kind of put together your own little phrases, okay? I hope that you'll be able to put together your own little phrases and try to come up with putting these together. But remember that the important thing is is tense marker, action, doer, and that'll help you put together your own Samoan phrases. All right, so I'm giving you verbs, and that's basically what I want you to do. I want you to come up with your own phrases. I want you to use the tense markers that I've given you. I want you to use the pronouns that I've given you. And then I'm giving you a bunch of verbs right here. All of these verbs, you can use a ton of different ways to say, hey, um, he rode, okay, or they write okay or they will write or whatever just come up with basic phrases like that and i promise that if you use these verbs that i've given you that your language skills will just increase tremendously okay so i want you to use these verbs and the ver uh, and the tense markers and the pronouns that i've given you to try to put these things together on your own so just remember when you do that you use the basic tense marker, action, then doer, okay? That is what um, you need to remember when you put these together. Just for uh, pronunciation sake, I is eat, inu is drink, nofo is sit, ta, ta is ride, tusi is write or book, so if you have a, a tense marker before 2C, then that's the action right. If you have the particle O before 2C, then that's the noun phrase or the noun book. Okay? So just remember that particle O, it's book. If it has a tense marker, then it's the action, and that's how you determine the difference between the two. Phi tau is read. Alu is go singular, so that's like I go, he go, she go, it go, you go. So that's only one person is doing the action of going. And then go plural is o atu, so a group of two or more people is o atu. Sao is come singular, so that's I come, you come, she come, he come, it come, okay? And then o oh my is plural form of come, okay? So the, so just kind of showing you the difference between those two, he went is sa alu o ia. So if you see the sa right here is the tense marker. The alu right here is the action. And then the doer is o ia. Okay? So just remember, tense marker, action, doer, and that will help you come up with these 
sentence structures or these little phrases that we were working on. The next one is uh, they went, and that difference between that is you change um, the pronoun and you change the the action. So I, I know it's the same in English that they're both went in English, but there's a difference between went plural and singular in Samoan. Okay, so come or uh, actually it'd be the go. There's a go plural and there's a go singular. So you change the verb also in Samoan. So the the tense marker is sa again because went is past tense. Then oatu is my verb or my action. Or I'm going to make that a circle. And then my doer is ilato. And just remember that you use that same little sentence structure to put together these phrases. Okay? Awesome. So I hope that this video has helped you out, guys, and that um, you can put together your own little phrases. And I promise you, if you do this, it'll make the, the upcoming videos so much easier. Um, until next time, guys, tofa soy fua, and good luck to you as you prepare for the next video and you review this video. Fa soy fua.